Universal Audio sent instructions to try a hardware reset of the Apollo X uh, to see if it is actually going to work for us. Uh, I will try it out and I'm going to give them my system report. I've updated my operating system to Mac OS X Big Sur, which is the latest and greatest if I'm uh, correct as of the time of this video. First thing is unplug everything from the back of the Apollo X. This is one of the Apollo X's. It has power still, that's fine. And this is another one of the Apollo X's. We're gonna try each one separately. The X8 up here works without doing a hardware reset. It just does work. So this might be kind of hard trying to film it at the same time with one hand, but I will. Press these three buttons, or which which one am I doing first? I can, either of them actually. I'm gonna do both. So we're doing the X8P bottom. I'll uh, flip the switch. And apparently it's supposed to be flashing or something. I can't really see. Oh, there, there it's flashing. So after it's done flashing, we can release. I think that's good. It said 10 seconds. Uh, and now I can power it up, I guess. Let's try the same thing up here. Hold those three. Do the power button. It, for about 10 seconds, hold these three still. And flashing. Flashing stops. Let go. Power off. Uh, so I will first connect this one to the computer and see if we can get any output uh, or just anything on the meter. I don't even need to hear anything. Cable. I don't know what you can see right now, uh, but we connected the bottom XAP to the computer. Turned on. That's no, backwards. Monitor is on. Is that brighter? Am I deceived? It looked, this was dim before. I'm gonna turn this top one on just to see because, oh, never mind. It's, it's still dim. And let's play this audio. I see nothing on these bars. Cool, so a hardware reset did nothing uh, for the bottom one. Let me double check that it is in fact the bottom that we were looking at. XAP bottom, and I connect the bottom, and we'll identify just to be sure. Identify, yep, XAP bottom. Cool, nothing on the bars. There is sound playing. To prove it, we'll do system preferences. We'll go to sound. We'll make sure that it's selecting the universal thunderbolt. Yep. But now when I go HDMI, which is the TV, I should probably turn the TV down. Because I was just watching TV. Uh, go down faster. All right, so when I press this button that says HDMI, it should make my computer monitor, the TV, uh, make noise. Oh, look at that. But I select Universal Audio Thunderbolt. Nothing goes to our, uh, our meter here. Since the update from Big Sur, I did reinstall the new console software. Uh, so far, it's a no-go. And the Apollo X8 does work, or did last time. I could, in fact, double check that. We can shut this off, because we know that's not doing anything. It automatically switches there. I will plug the PC into the Apollo X8 up on the top. Turn this guy on. 
Cool, cool, cool. Powered on. Should be connecting here now, anytime. PCI X8. It reloads. Oh look, sound on the meter. We're getting stuff on the meter with the Apollo X8 up top. I'm trying to make it so I can have two Apollo X8Ps, so I have 16 unison preamps, and get rid of this X8, but uh, so far the X8P bottom is getting nothing in its outputs, uh, or on the meter at all, so nothing's even hitting the, the system. Let's, uh, let's turn off the Apollo X8 up top and let's now remove this and put it in the X8P top. Okay, X8P top, we'll turn you on. Oh look, X8P top. And over here you can see X8P top. We'll identify it just to be sure. Cool. So it knows it's X8P top. And all I'm trying to do is see something in this meter. Because I know if the meter works, we'll be able to get stuff out of these speakers. Because I've tested the speakers and the dangerous monitor ST many times. And all of the cables associated. We have a cable tester and it works. So let's try, let's try this song again. Oh, the X8P top has meters, so it's the X8P bottom, the one I just purchased, that has the dimmed switch when I turn it on. You can see a dimmed switch compared to the top, and when I turn on either of these, they, these are also brighter. So I purchased a bogus system. It said it was new slash refurb straight from Universal Audio, and I'm going to say this one's a piece of crap. Uh, sorry, that was, uh, what do you, what do you say? That was low of me to, to say that. I apologize. Um, but this, this item does not work properly. And I've spent a lot of time trying to figure out, figure it out. Uh, I've updated my system, which needed to happen anyway, so thank you. I'll shut everything off, and then I'll plug in the speakers, just so you can hear the sound, make it more satisfying. Uh, turn those off. Left is top. Right is bottom, so we have our top X8P connected to Dangerous Monitor ST, which is connected to some cables which go out to our speaker. I'll turn on just the right one. And press aux. When it notices that there is the Apollo X8P top, we should see stuff on, well, we won't see stuff on the meter yet because this stopped, but X8P top is being recognized currently. Uh, we see it over here. And we'll press play on this audio file. Oh, look at that. Stuff on the meter and out of the speaker. I'm just going to go ahead and say, like I did earlier, that this one is a failure somehow from Catalina because it was very old. We had not upgraded for a long time because there were compatibility issues between the security updates that uh, that Apple was imposing and our DAW and, um, and a bunch of the VSTs. But we have uh, been able to successfully upgrade to Big Sur and with Studio One Five and all of our con Tact or concat native instruments VST package is working just fine, um, and with either of uh, these two interfaces, we get stuff on the bar. But again, this one nothing. Uh, so it looks like I bought a bogus machine. I would like a replacement, not a refund, um, because I want the machine, not the money. That's why I bought it. Uh, 
anyway, I think we've figured it out. I've removed the dud Apollo X8P from the rack, and I've replaced it with the Apollo X8. We're logged in. We should have the Apollos registering and the UAD software loading. There's the Apollo X8. And we should see Apollo X8 P top. That's good. And console should be up top. Oh, there it is. Console. All right, I'll turn on aux. So it works. Those two are good. <laughs>